I apologize. I apologize for the whole fitness industry. I apologize for those fitness professionals that have been unprofessional and I have done it in the past. What I'm talking about is when fitness professionals, people who are supposed to be helping you, people who are supposed to be putting out good, supportive advice, have taken a dig at you. For trying. For trying a diet. For trying to make a difference. When I got into this industry, I had just lost nearly a hundred pounds. And I wanted to help people make the difference to their life that I had made. Because when I went to the doctors for my checkup, for my asthma checkup, and they said to me, Ollie, if you continue eating the way you're eating, putting crap into your body, you're actually in a state of being pre-diabetic. You need to make a change. That was when I knew I needed to make a change and do something. And if I could make that change, why couldn't I help other people make that change? Way before I even realized why I love working with busy people. This is when I simply wanted to help people drop fat. To feel healthy, to feel confident, to feel good in their body. But I see so many times people who are supposed to be professionals in this industry taking digs at people for trying. Taking digs because it's the cool thing to do. Taking digs because they're scared to market themselves. Being worried about these other diets. Saying that gurus are giving them the wrong advice. And they get liked, they get shared, they get put around the industry by other fitness professionals. And I used to be one of those guys that used to spend time arguing with fitness professionals on Facebook, which ended up scaring people off. Now here's something for you. If you're trying to make a difference, back in the day when I started my fat loss journey, I was using SlimFast. A couple of shakes a day, a decent meal or two, I was using SlimFast. And it started to work. Was it magic? No, it was a calorie deficit. But it was something I could see was being marketed by the masses around the whole of the UK pretty much around the world. So it was there, ready for me. If you're using Herbalife, if you're using Weight Watchers, if you're using Slimming World, well done for trying to make a change. If you're doing the whole 30, if you're going the Joe Wicks route and being lean and 15, well done for trying to make a change. If you are doing a seven day detox, if you are doing Slim Tea or any of this stuff, Congratulations for trying to make a change. I'm not here to judge people because of which diet choice you make. I'm here to give information. Are these diets going to be the best option for losing weight long term? Probably not. But they're working for you right now. Because you've got into a position where you've been frustrated that you've seen what is coming back reflecting at you in the mirror wanting to change. You may have seen someone in the office that has had some good results on Slim Fast, on Slimming World, on Weight Watchers. So you think, that's cool. Maybe I can make that change too. Who are we to judge whether you are going to make that change? Because I have seen people lose a lot of weight on these diets. Could they have done it in a healthier way? Yes, maybe but they have still lost a lot of weight. So well done. Congratulations to you. You are trying to make a change. And I apologize. I apologize for those fitness professionals who are being so unprofessional because you are trying to make an effort to change. Now if these diets don't work, 
If you find these are unsustainable diets and you fall off, guess what? You will not be the only one. You will not be the only one to have started these diets and fall off. Even these fitness professionals will have some clients fall off. That is the truth. And if you are one of these people that tries and you don't see that 30 pound fat loss in two weeks, that's not your fault. If you've tried it and you've been told this is what's gonna happen, it's called marketing. But well done for trying. If you are one of these people that have tried and you want some advice from someone who has even tried those methods themselves back in the day, and has had successful results by slightly adjusting them, who has seen the psychological impact that losing a lot of weight can have, who still has their inner fat boy in them, wanting to break out and eat every single cake in the bakery, who wants to order pizzas every single night, who wants to raid the pick and mix, who wants to go to McDonald's to have the burgers, if you want to speak to one of these people that has been there and done that, then give me a shout. Alternatively, you can go to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash ice cream. Download a guide on how to look pretty decent while still eating ice cream. One last thing. The One Day Body Upgrade. This book went to number one on Amazon in 24 hours. If you don't want to talk to me, if you don't want to book in a call, you don't want to drop me a message, just go on Amazon, get the book. It's like four pounds at the moment for the paperback. It's about one pound 20 for the Kindle version. If you want to make a change, it starts now. If you want to talk to me, drop me a message. I look forward to hearing from you.